located downtown along Railroad Avenue, the bakery serves fresh bagels made from local ingredients without any preservatives or additives. With 13 bagels and menu items like bagel sandwiches, the bagelry proves that you can enjoy a bagel at any meal. We realized uh, back in 1984 that we would like to open a bagel shop and uh, we started looking around town for a location and after about uh, three or four months of, uh, of looking at locations, this one came open and uh, we had to have it because of the, uh, there's great parking out front, we're on the street, nice big windows in the front. And, um, of course, it helps have a, a, a natural light with the skylight. So we, uh, it was funny, I had uh, tried to work out a lease uh, across town uh, for a whole month and it didn't work out. And when this came available, I called the landlord and uh, we had one signed within 10 minutes. So yeah, it was wonderful. It, it was a great marriage. Now, ever since, uh, we've bought this building and expanded into the next building and we own both of them. Uh, what goes into a basic uh, plain bagel is just five ingredients and that's flour, sugar, salt, water and yeast. And we don't use any preservatives uh, in our bagels. We, uh, they're they're uh, all natural and uh, uh, bagels that, that aren't eaten today should be frozen. Uh, well actually you can get a second day out of them and revive them in the toaster but certainly the third day uh, uh, they're more like construction material. Well, these are made in more of a time-honored tradition. Um, we uh, we fuss over the bagels a little bit more. They're they're boiled before they're baked. Uh, um, our equipment uh, is a kind of equipment that you can't find anymore and. Uh, uh, and if you could, it would cost you, uh, like for our mixer, it would cost you over $100,000 to buy that mixer. So um, there's a lot of schlocky equipment out there, and a lot of uh, and a lot of us old bagel bakers are dying off. We've been asked in the past to make a a non-gluten bagel, but uh, and we gave it a kind of a weak effort, uh, but then we realize that, uh, well, when is a bagel not a bagel? Uh, you know, we try to be true to ourselves and, and you know, you can get uh, round spears that taste more like biscuits, you can get them anywhere, but this is where you come to get a, you know, a real bagel. Popular menu item would have to be the lox and cream cheese bagel. Um, uh, which is funny because for years and years we we had locks and uh, it didn't catch on and it's just been now we've had this store going on 26 years uh, it's just been the last few years that it's really really caught on it's a kind of a delicacy back in New York and it's becoming that out here the best part is that I get to go to work in a t-shirt no uh, I I have fun. Uh, this group that I have now is uh, especially a good group to work with. They're uh, they're smart and they're hardworking and they cooperate with each other. I guess with any job, uh, you know, it, it's all about the people around you that, that make the job. Oh boy, I have to remember all of them. Um, We've got a lot of flavored spreads. Uh, well, of course, plain cream cheese, lox, scallion, cinnamon, walnut, raisin. Um, help me here, Galen. Uh, Italian, which is sun-dried tomatoes, feta, and basil. Uh, jalapeno, olive, uh, uh, pimento olive spread, uh, strawberry, chocolate chip, and pineapple. Yeah, I think we got them all. Other hands, maybe the one. Who... Bagels are so versatile. I mean, you, you could put meats or cheeses or peanut butter or cream cheese. Uh, any thing that you, any other bread that you can make a sandwich with, you could do it with a bagel. Um, what we offer is uh, uh, onion, sprouts, and tomatoes, and your choice of that with the bagel and and uh, pickle and chips. We also have. Uh, 
uh, a full breakfast. Uh, uh, lots of different omelets. Uh, uh, very popular is the uh, breakfast special and the egg on a bagel, where you can pick up a uh, an egg on a bagel and and. Uh, you find that when you when you eat a bagel, that can get you through most of the morning. But if you add an egg to it, uh, it it really takes you to lunch. Good question. We uh, we serve between six and eight hundred people every day, probably more than anybody in town, and we probably have more menu items than anybody in town. Our most popular. Uh, uh, omelets are uh, farmers omelet which uh, that certainly that could almost get you to dinner um, and then uh, we've got a pesto omelet that's uh, really killer and uh, south of the border which is very popular okay our meats are boar's head meats uh, I grew up with boar's head meats and for the first year we cooked our own meats here and uh, uh, then when Boar's Head came to town, we were, uh, I think, their second customer uh, that they picked up. Uh, we found out that they arrived and we just had to have it. Uh, these are, uh, are meats without fillers or preservatives, the best quality uh, meats. Our coffee is uh, locally uh, roasted uh, uh, lotus coffee, um, which is uh, fair trade. Uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, organic. Start off your day bright and early with a bagel from the bakery. I'm Royce, and this is your bite of Bellingham.